Hello. Okay, here we are in the Silhouette uh, Studio space. And I'm showing you guys how I bring in a PNG and change it to a file that can be cut. Um, I made a stencil in this blog post. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So the first thing I want to do, because my project is 12 inches by 18 inches, so I want to make the screen, a little, the mat, cutting mat, a bigger. And okay, so I am going to hit display. Which one is it? The page settings. There we go. Over here is page settings. And instead of 12 by 12, I want the width to be 18 inches and the height to remain at 12. And see how it automatically changes my screen. And now this is the arrow that will go into the machine. So I'm actually looking at the mat sideways, if you will. Okay. So now we want to bring in our files. I have two PNG files that I want to bring in. So we're going to file open. Okay, so I want to bring in this one that I named Silhouette PNG. And I want to bring in the little tree separately, which I cropped from here in Photoshop and change it to a PNG. I want to remove, I'll show you when we get in there, I want to remove the tree and, and move it to different places. So I need to have that one as well. If I can bring both, we'll do one at a time. It looks like it puts it on a different, um, yeah, it opened a new file. Um, so that's okay, I will just copy and paste it onto here. Okay, so now we have this design and the tree design. Okay, so I'm going to move this down and what we first want to do is be able to, well, let's take and erase the tree from here. So we don't need it up on the top. It's a little too tall with that. Okay. Then I want to I want to duplicate him, so I'm going to go to this duplicate or replicate. Okay. Now I'm going to move one over here and one over here. Okay, and now I'm going to group them all together. So you you drag the whole image into a into a box. And then you can hit group. And now they will move as one. Okay. Now we have to trace this um, to make it a cut file. So we're going to go to the trace a uh, little op open the trace window over here. Okay, and then we're going to select the trace area. So we push that, click on that, and then we're going to just surround it. Okay. And it brings in all this yellow, and what we want is for the whole thing to be yellow. So we're going to take this little slider and slide it until everything is yellow. Just like that. And then we're going to hit trace. Now we have everything's outlined in red, and if you just move this away, then we can delete that and now we're working with a silhouette area. 
So now we can make it as, see the cut area only goes to this red line. So we can make everything bigger. Oops. A little bit bigger. You want it to stay within the cut area. But I like to center it as much as I can because then when this vinyl comes off there and I will have a piece that's about as big as the board that I'm going to put it on. That way I can make sure it's centered and it looks right um, without having to do that with a tiny little um, piece of vinyl. And it does use a little more vinyl than it should like this, these corners, but for me it's a little bit easier to deal with it that way. Okay, so there's that and now we can just go to our cut settings. We have to push that. Cut the edge, cut edge is what we want and everything gets bright red. And then I'm using vinyl and I'm actually it's, it, it gives a suggestion of a two, but I like to put it one more, so I always put it on a three for vinyl, and that to me works perfect. And then all you have to do is cut, uh, hit send to silhouette, and it will start cutting after you get your vinyl on your board, on your mat. Now for this you'll have to use a longer mat, and I had one left over from my Cricut machine, so that's what I use, but um, I think you can get longer mats. There is a way to do it without the mat, and I've tried it, but it moves, and it and it drives me crazy. So even, even if you can't get a silhouette mat that's bigger, I'm not sure. I'll have to look on Amazon and check. Um, if you can't, then buy a Cricut one that's um, the 12 by 24. It is It works perfectly in the silhouette machine. Okay, so that's my tutorial for today, and I hope you like it, and be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye!